In this video, I'm going to compare every single Paragon board with a maxed out Tears of Blood Glyph available from the Abattoir Azir launching on December 5th to find out what is the absolute best board we need to use for a Sorceress class when the Abattoir Azir drops to get the best benefit possible. Let's check it out. Kicking things off with the starting board for the Sorceress class, when you select every single node, the yield, the multiplicative damage yield you're going to get is 3636.1% increased multiplicative damage with a level 200 Tears of Blood Glyph. The two rare nodes that are affected by this glyph are going to be Elemental Balance, which will give you 69.8% non-physical damage and 35 intelligence, and Erudite, which is going to give you 20.9% resistance to all elements and 35 intelligence. Just nuts. The next board to check out is the Burning Instinct board, and with all of the nodes selected, Burning Instinct will yield 4044.1% increased multiplicative damage. The two rare nodes on the Burning Instinct board that get upgraded are Cinders, which gives you 69.8% damage to burning enemies and 35 intelligence, and Smoldering Embers, which will give you 34.9% damage reduction from burning enemies and an additional 35 intelligence. The Ceaseless Conduit board, when maxed out with all of the nodes that could affect its increased multiplicative damage, will provide 3717.7 increased multiplicative damage. And the rare nodes that are affected by Tears of Blood at this range are going to be Galvanic Catalyst, which gives you 69.8% increased lightning damage and 35 int for intelligence, and Electro, which gives you 69.8 lightning res and 35 intelligence. The next board we're going to check out is the Elemental Summoner board. With all the nodes selected that empower the Tears of Blood glyph at level 200, 4125.7% increased multiplicative damage is something you can enjoy. Now, the two rare nodes that are affected by this Paragon Glyph are going to be Erudite, which gives you 20.9% resistance to all elements and 35 intelligence, and Conjure, which gives you 104.7% increased Conjuration skill damage and 35 intelligence. The Enchantment Master Paragon with all nodes selected is going to give you 3880.9% increased multiplicative damage, and the rare nodes affected by this maxed out glyph are going to be Elemental Balance, giving you an additional 69.8% non-physical damage and 35 int, and Erudite, again, 20.9% resistance to all elements and 35 intelligence. So let's check out the Frigid Fate board with all of the nodes selected. Frigid Fate gives you 4,207.3% increased multiplicative damage. The two rare nodes on this board are Weakness, which gives you 69.8% increased vulnerable damage and 35 intelligence, and Chilling, which gives you 69.8 cold res and 35 intelligence. Next up, we're going to check out Icefall. Icefall will yield 3,962.5% increased multiplicative damage when maxed out at level 200, and the two rare nodes in the radius of the Tears of Blood glyph that get impacted are going to be Frosts, which increases your damage by 104.7 when it's hitting chilled enemies, and 35 intelligence, and Frigid, which gives you 41.9% damage reduction from chilled enemies and 35 intelligence. So let's check out the Searing Heat board. With all the nodes selected, you can enjoy 3,880.9% increased multiplicative damage. Now there's two rare nodes that are affected by this maxed out Tears of Blood Glyph. One is going to be Ashes, which gives you 69.8% fire res and 35 intelligence. The other is Flame Touched, which will increase your fire damage by 69.8% and give you 35 intelligence. Ladies and gents, let's check out the Static Surge board. So with all of the nodes selected, you're going to see 4,370.5% increased multiplicative damage. And this will also affect two rare nodes on this board, which are Electro, which will grant you an additional 69.8% lightning res and 35 intelligence, and Incapacitate, which gives you 104.7% increased damage to stunned enemies with 35 intelligence. Okay, so now that I've compiled all the different Paragon boards to evaluate all of the different multiplicative damage benefits they all enjoy with this maxed up glyph, Let's take a look at the order to find out who got first and who got last, right? Number one is going to be the Static Surge board. Number two is Frigid Fate, Elemental Summoner coming in at third. Burning Instinct comes through at fourth. Icefall is fifth place. Searing Heat is tied with Enchantment Master. Both of those provide a 3880.9% increased multiplicative damage. Ceaseless Conduit is eighth place. And then unfortunately for that starting board, it gets ninth every single time. And that's simply because the board's just smaller than other boards. There's not, as, there's not as many nodes there, right? So you don't get the most bang for your buck. Right? You don't get enough juice from the squeeze with the starting board. But you can put it there if you want. It's just not going to give you the most multiplicative damage. So this video is intended for, if nothing else, information for you. To help you make a decision with your character and how that's going to feel in the Abattoir Azir, right? That's why I'm doing this. I'm doing the work so you don't have to. Because I also want to know how much freaking damage can we expect to see. And now I know. And I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that it's informative. I hope that it's a resource you can yield and, uh, and get back to and review if you need to. I'm down and I hope that it helps. So December 5th, this glyph comes out. 
and hope you guys are enjoying your happy gobble till you wobble happy thanksgiving day to all my american uh friends out there and uh yeah guys from me to you have a good one see you in the next one thank you very much